Hey everybody, cooking with the fat guy, Big Papa Harold here. Tonight, strawberry fudge pie. Alright, let's get to this. Okay, so, on the other video, the other episode, you saw me make a pie crust. Right? I made a couple of them, made a few other things. Uh, if you guys want, let me show you this. I made some... Uh, s'mores and I put that on my Facebook page it'll be on the Big Papa Harold page if you look that up you'll find it there or on Harold Phillips on that page but uh, so this is a nice easy recipe strawberry fudge pie right so this has a fudge brownie bottom with a layer of cheesecake and then it's got diced up cut completely in half strawberries and hot fudge drizzled across the top. So we're gonna just take this step by step. So I mixed this whole box, thank you, save a lot, of chewy fudge brownie mix. So we're gonna use that. Now I'm not gonna use the whole thing, and I actually went away from their recipe, which could be a big mistake, but we'll see. So I'm gonna take this and just start emptying it into here. I wanna get this to where you guys can see it. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put this in the oven and I'm actually, if you look here, I've just, I've put this about halfway to three quarters of the way up. So I'm gonna cook this for a while. I'm actually gonna put it in for about 15 to 25 minutes uh, to start with, and I'm gonna watch the crust. And what I'm gonna do is, if this crust gets, starts browning, I'm gonna pull this out and I'm gonna put tin foil on it. Right now I'm not going to, I just wanna let this thing cook and see if I can get it to cook evenly. But we'll throw this in and we'll see what comes next. Okay, so we've thrown the pie in the oven. We've got a few more things we need to make. So we're going to make a cheese, uh, ugh, can't even talk guys, a cream cheese layer that is going to go in between the uh, fudge, the brownies, and it's going to go in between the, uh, the strawberries. So I'm going to take and I'm going to put an egg in here. And again, this whole recipe will be on the page too, so check that out. Throw one egg, a fourth cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, and I've already had this out for a while, one eight ounce package of cream cheese. I've already softened this up. I've allowed it to just sit at room temperature for a while. So I'm gonna get that ready. And I've got the trusty mixer out. Hopefully I don't kill this one like I did the last one. Get that out. I am horrible at this, guys. I'm telling you this right now. Dump that in here. All right. Take that. Clean that off. If you guys have seen me cook, I make a mess. Sorry. It's just the way I cook. Gonna get this all mixed up. All right guys, so as you can see, I've got this out. I'm gonna take our mixture here. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put that on the pie. So let me scoot this over so you guys can watch it's a little bit better. I'm still getting used to where I need to set myself. So it says to just put this on there in small spoon, spoonfuls, just kind of layer it out across the top. And my worry is that this is gonna fall through. So I'm just gonna kind of drop this. So I've used just about everything I can there, let me put this over here. Get another spatula out. Hopefully. Let me see here. Three. 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 I got one here somewhere. Alright, so I'm gonna take that, dump this all out. Alright. So we're gonna smooth this as good as possible. Get that all layered out. Now that looks pretty good. So now the trick is going to be getting this back in, which isn't hard, and uh, making sure that this thing cooks evenly. Because I've cooked this now for about 25 minutes, is what it took to, to get this all layered out. And then it says to cook, see there's my problem right there. And it says to cook it for like another 20 minutes or until the cream cheese is brown. So I've got that done. Hopefully that'll set good. I think we're good to go. So I'm going to take this, put this back in the oven, and uh, we'll see what comes next. 
Okay, so I've given this time to cool. Now I'm gonna put some strawberries on this. I'm gonna actually cover the top with strawberries and then I've also got, courtesy of my favorite store, save a lot. I got some World's Fair hot fudge topping that I'm gonna add to that after the fact. So I've heated that up and I'm just gonna take these. I slice these up already. I'll take that, put these on here. Oh, this is kind of a long process with this. This was, uh, you know, these videos come out fairly quick and they look good, hopefully. I say that kind of cocky, but I love cooking these things and doing these, but uh, this takes a little bit of time, so you got to be patient. And you really can't rush this. There's no there's no skipping a step here or there to get to the end. And uh, as a up and coming, hopefully budding chef, that's one of the things that uh, if you learn anything from me, take your time and uh, do it right. Don't, don't skimp because you're not gaining anything by doing that. I cut these earlier, I'll layer that on. And all I'm gonna do now is take this and I've heated this up and I'm actually just going to take and kind of just drizzle this over the top. I'm not doing anything special with that. I just want to uh, get it on there. Get it kind of layered nicely if possible. And get some more here. Get that stirred up. I want it to just drizzle across the top. So Again, nice and easy. I've let this cool uh, from the last time you saw it. I let this cool for about an hour. And uh, it's still a little warm. And now what I'm going to do after I get this all on over the top of it, I'm going to take and uh, I'm going to refrigerate this overnight. And hopefully it turns out nice in the morning. Uh, I don't expect it not to. This is looking really good. Um, if there's any... Questions, comments, thoughts, drop a line to me. Let me know what you think. Again, smack that like button, smash that subscribe button, share these videos, let me know. Good, bad, ugly thoughts, I don't care. I want to hear what you've got to say uh, because, you know, you got an opinion just like I do. So if there's a way I can make this better, let me know. Uh, if you try it and you like it, please let me know. Uh, these are, again, this is the first time I've done this, and a lot of the videos I'm doing, guys, you're going to see a one-off right off the bat. This is, what you see is what you get. So I'm trying it just like you would be trying it, except I'm doing it on YouTube. So if I screw up, it's a little more monumental. So you guys have a good night. Here is the finished product. So with any luck, this will uh, turn out good, and I'm going to, Toss this in the fridge. Everybody have a great Valentine's Day. Hey everybody, thanks for watching today. Be sure to smack that subscribe button so that you can catch up on future videos. 